Yeah, this is a two manual Mason Hammond list with pedal. Uh, we have the two manual over there list without pedal. And then of course the one manual list upstairs without pedal. So I've got like all three versions of it. What I don't have is a three manual pedal list. Uh, someday maybe, who knows. But this, uh, again, it has certainly, you know, it's got the stop names that you would find are not listed like they are in those instruments. You don't have one and two. You've got a, a 16 foot corno, which is underneath on the grate. You got eight foot diapason on the grate and you got a gamma string on the grate. And then you have a 16 foot clarinet on the grate and a four foot flute on the grate. Mm. So yeah, that's, and then of course you have the Voix Celeste, which is the two eight foots together. But um, the 16 foots are very unique, very different. Mm. Uh, on the pedal, of course you have the typical softer and louder eight, 16 foot and an eight foot. Very, again, very useful. And on the swell or the upper man, you've got a four foot, a eight foot solitional, an eight foot curl of foam, which is again, different rank. And then you've got the, a four foot flute dolce and alien harp or on the on the swell um and again it's all under expression so you certainly have the expression pedal it's got a flat pedal board but the nice thing about the flat pedal board is it it makes logical sense when you play yeah. Yeah. um a lot of again it doesn't have quite the space underneath to get your knees to play pedal work like a big piece of bach mm. but it does work Mm -hmm. um, Interesting. It's loud. It's a loud instrument. Yeah. It's a loud instrument. So it is a list model because that core note is what makes it a list. Mm -hmm. Now, these instruments were used, uh, we talked a little bit about this, as not just a substitute for the pipe organ. Oh, but no. No, they were, they were it, you know, and again, they didn't take up the space a pipe organ would take up. You didn't have to worry about heating the space in the winter, so the reeds don't go in and out of tune like they would on a, a an organ, and pianos don't stay in tune. I'm restoring one now for Shippensburg University. It's going in a one-room schoolhouse that they moved on campus because the one-room schoolhouse would only have been heated, you know, in the winter and no air conditioning. And so a reed organ would be much more logical than a piano mm -hmm. because it wouldn't go out of tune. Yeah. And that's one of the really good things about reed organs that they don't have to be in that controlled environment to be playable. Um, this it would have been used in a church or in a lodge. Uh, a lot of lodges had them, you know, masons and so mm -hmm. forth had them in their places and they did sing. Community places would have them. Um, this probably would have been in a church. And again, it would produce great sound for a church. And this did not have a pipe top, but there are some that, like this model that would have a pipe top. Mm -hmm. um, that two manual over there without the pedal actually has the shadow where it had a pipe top. It would be wonderful to see that pipe top mm -hmm. and, and put, but again, I don't have access to that. Someday there's probably one lurking out there. Right. Um, but uh, again, this, as I said, was completely as is. I've not restored it. I have not taken it apart, um, but I'm anxious to do that at some point. Now you saying that the uh, reed organs were preferable and to the pipe organ because they maintain their tuning but there is one thing that i've noticed and that is cl uh climate changing uh humidity changes that's oh yeah oh yeah and can cause cracking oh yeah the cracking and and one of the things though is that uh, my home church i still have it actually it's down the street at the neighbors we literally mm -hmm. rolled the organ down the street mm -hmm. on a dolly to her house and it's beautiful but um it's it was it's a that's a wilcox and white and yeah, it was in a church it was not heated and and it wasn't air conditioned and when the church got rid of it because they got electronic organ they gave me the organ it had the original bellows in it until hans reed did it when he was 16. i mean the original bellows were fine and mm -hmm. there was no cracking of the soundboard mm -hmm. you know a lot of these instruments would have been in um, a parlor Mm -hmm. And because wood does breathe mm -hmm. uh, and it does swell and it does shrink because you were not in rooms that were generally heated, they ad adjusted and adapted to the climate too. Mm -hmm. Most of the instruments that have cracked soundboards are places where there was some excess dryness. Yeah. yeah. Just like European organs, the leather and European organs last many, many more years than in America because of the central heat in the American churches. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, yeah. The leather it does dry out, the wood does dry out, but it does. I, I know my uh, my Mason, my SD Philharmonic up there has some notes at the top that in the winter stick, but not in the summer. Right. You would think it would be the other way because of humidity, but because it's wood, wood yeah. is real, uh, leather is real. Mm -hmm. um, it, it it was alive, and so it it acts as if it's alive.